welcome to today's video. It be looking sunny out there. We're headed down to the barn to do chores. Sam is at work. I wanted to show you guys this cute tag I bought for Daisy last year. It says, I hear, wait. I'm deaf, I hear with my heart. I'm deaf, I hear with my heart. It has our phone number on the back. As you guys can see, it's all scratched to bits. Doesn't even, can't even read it now. So I have come up with a better plan. Now Daisy is sporting this pink collar. It says, I'm deaf. So uh, then our phone number on the other side because, well, look at the sun. Because I just want to make sure that like she is always protected because when a dog gets lost or something happens, once our chiropractor, our equine chiropractor told us this big story about how they got a Dalmatian dog at their, at their office and somebody just dropped it there and it took them like two weeks to figure out that the thing was deaf. And then once they did, everything got better. But it was just, it can be confusing if people don't know you're deaf. You should train your dog to drag you. I want you to see what I see. <laughs> oh, Sam did not. I can't drag you through this. Apparently the tractor must have stopped working when Sam got to this part. <laughs> it's all snow drifts. There's a lot of snow for us, you guys, especially so much snow in just one dump. Anyway, uh, good morning guys, welcome to today. Sorry, we're trying to figure out, wait, I just came in here to get her food and Gabby just walked by with it. We're trying to figure out what the plan is for today. Should we go to the boys? So we ride, we ride specific days every week. Today is not one of those days, but we missed our day this week because of a snowstorm. That's awful. Gabby just about got killed by a pitchfork. She opened the door and this pitchfork, oh, sorry, Molly. It's a bad day for pitchforks on the day by day farm. You're okay, go ahead and eat, honey. So what I was saying was that we missed our day, our first day this week, and usually when we do that, we make that day up. We change it, we go the next day, but then we're going the next day for lessons. So we're trying to decide if we should go today. I don't like our boys to just sit. But at the same time, sometimes a rest is fine. I to stay so I don't know what we're gonna do. What I really wanna do is ride Penny in the snow. Wow, Dad did such a good job. Did you guys see in the video yesterday how crazy we walked along here? We got a little path now. I did the path. Yeah, Gabby did the path. All right, let's get chores done so we can get back up to do homeschool. Sophie's just, uh, Sophie's just discovered snow pants for the first time in her life. She hasn't worn them for so long and now she has mine on. Poof, she's in love with the snow. I feel like kids go through this stage where they like are too cool for snow pants and mitts and, do you want mitts, Gabby? I have some in my pocket. Oh, good. Uh, Sophie has this row hay. I'm gonna clean the arena today. I didn't get a chance to do that yesterday because we were digging us out. Yesterday was all about digging, oh my gosh, where's my bucket? Mom. How am I gonna find my bucket? What? I'm stuck. <laughs> Sophie's stuck. Come on, we gotta, you gotta get hay out there. Found my bucket. <laughs> Is it gonna come out? Oh, it comes out. Woohoo, we can clean. Gabby says this one is surrounded by ice. But look at our poop pile, so small. Or it's covered in. Oh, that was a lot of snow. Or it's covered in snow and we just don't see it. I broke a piece off this bucket the other day because it was so cold. And unfortunately, it's the beginning of the end for this muck bucket. But we bought two of these three years ago 
and they're still alive. Even our little cart is still alive. Toby's nose is frozen. What? Show you how much hay. Are you exhausted, Toby? No. <laughs> Climbing snow mountains? I want to do it again. Just do it again. Hello, poop eaters. <laughs> Hello, poop eaters. Only one of them has a coat on. This is the one that needs the coat. <laughs> Frozen poop. Poopsicles. This is just eating some poopsicles. There we go. My favorite part of the day. Uh oh. Uh oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Her blanket's broken. Can you fix it? Hold on. Me standing in front of a horse that's ready to go out, and she is powerful. She's like, I oh, will just eat lunch. <laughs> All right. There you go. I'm looking out really far. I felt the tingle in my heart. The sun has set, the stars will appear. In many ways, it's great up here. Somehow life goes on, the stars we know are gone. Gracie just wants to stay. She's like, I'll stay with you guys. I don't need food. Look how pretty her hair is though. So pretty. Yeah. All right, peaceful. Everything is peaceful and calm on the day by day farm. Look, all the snow. It must have snowed. It did snow again last night. Gracie's like, I will take my own way out. Let me find the hardest way. Boo. I feel like that's me too. Let me find the hardest way to where I want to go. So um, I, maybe I should just share with you guys anytime at my Bible app. I show, I explained to you guys yesterday, I found this really cool Bible app yesterday and it's been changing my life. Maybe I could share with you guys a little bit of something that it says each day. Each day I get notifications. It tells me like a new thing. And today's thing said, even when it gets hard, trust, trust, trust in God that he knows the ultimate goal and believe in him. But never die. Yeah, don't die. Don't die, you guys. Just believe in God. And when it's hard, say, okay, God, I surrender this to you. Like, I'm going to give it to you. And don't stress <coughs> out about it. And interestingly enough, the other thing it said is to not worry about your body and not worry about your hair. Don't worry about, like, your, your body and superficial things. Yeah, because see, God already has that all planned for you. I don't you. care about my hair. Yeah, I know. Well, see? Sophie is so biblical. Sophie is right there in I'm heaven. I'm never brushing my hair. <laughs> yeah. She hasn't got to that stage where she cares about her hair yet. But just wait. It's coming. I saw little tidbits of it. But, yeah. Like, don't worry about your physical stuff. Worry about your emotional stuff. And that is huge. Because I feel like for the first 30 years of everyone's life, we're taught to worry about how we look and how we sound and what we eat and, and how we dress because then we can fit in with everything, everybody. But that is like God's least important thing for us. It's his least important thing for us to work on. We're meant to work on emotions and love and kindness. It's kindness and love that we're supposed to be learning here. It's supposed to be acceptance and kindness and love and understanding those are the things that matter. Like, isn't that so pro profound and amazing and hard as heck? But I believe in you guys. I believe in me, I believe in you, and I believe in God that will help us to maneuver and get through it and learn those things. And so many of you guys are so much more advanced than me because I spent like 40 years <laughs> on the first part um, and only like 12 years on this other part knowing that emotions and love is more important. So anyways, Let's get clean in this barn. Cause that is important too.
work with three dogs that all think it's a toy. Ruby's too good for that though. She does not compete. So the new addition to the barn is heated a water trough. We heat their water now, especially Penny. We heat the water trough now because Penny especially needs to drink and while it's really cold like this, she has to be able to get water. It's empty and I'm gonna put water in it sizzle. It was empty and then you put water in it and it sizzled? Ooh. Yeah, it keeps it really warm. All right. Oh We're still in the process of cleaning. <laughs> All right. I'm completely out of treats still. I keep not getting to the store to get some. So this is what I have. Residue. Treat residue. It's nice back here now with the snow covering the ice. Oh, hello, princess. Hello. You want to give me a kiss? If you kiss me, I'll give you a treat. Look. Look. Good girl. All right, might not have been perfect. Let's see. Yeah, she's so calm. She's trying. Uh oh. The camera's getting fogged up. Hold on. <laughs> Come on. Good girl. I don't know if I got it, but she did it. She's a genius. <laughs> She's like, kiss me, kiss me. I got nothing left. Just lick it. <laughs> That's all I got. Finn would lick it. This is my throne. And She's the queen. Well, Are you the queen or the princess? I'm the princess. Princess, I'm the queen? Because then I'm younger. No, yeah. you're the slave. <laughs> A servant. We are in the middle of homeschool. Sophie's doing math and we have her tutor here on this on my phone. Usually we put it on the iPad, but today she's on the phone. That's how Sophie does her math. It's super cool. They can talk to each other and the, my tutor's the best. Her tutor's the best. Yeah. The, the best of all. Yep. Gabby's over here doing her work. She's doing reading. And while they do that stuff, I like do the dishes, do the laundry, sweep, clean, clean out the dog stuff, the dog's crate, because Daisy is the messiest dog in the world. Um, but I want to give you guys a quick tip about dish soap. Like in the past, before this year, like every 50 years or whatever, before this year, I used to buy dish soap that looked like this and I used to run out so I'd buy like two things of dish soap or three things of dish soap every time I go to the grocery store and I still always be running out of dish soap. Like dish soap is one of those things that you run out of the most more than shampoo more than laundry soap because it only comes in this like size which is annoying. So this year I got super smart and I started buying dish soap in this big huge bottle. It is six, 169 ounces. Five liters. This is a five liter bottle of dish soap. Then every single time this bottle gets empty, I just refill it. See, they're totally different brands. I just refill my bottle over and over and over. Good for the environment, good cost wise, and you never run out. This bottle will last me so long. Like I literally haven't bought dish soap for probably like six weeks or so. And we do dishes every single day, several times a day, and it lasts forever. So just in case any of you guys are spending 50 years doing the same thing, buying bottles of dish soap, uh, maybe that little tip will help you too. All right, so the girls are playing Roblox. Are you playing Roblox? Yeah. With, who are we playing with? Um, Grayson, Roshin. Grayson, Roshin, and Sydney. Sorry, Sydney, I cut that's you off Sydney. there. Oh, that's Sydney. Oh, she's cute. She's a queen. Looks like she's a queen, but anyways. One so, of those is Roshin, one of those is Grayson. So, girls, I have to ask you a question. Have you ever ridden in the snow before? Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. like in a big snow field, gone out and just like cantered around? Yeah. Do you love it? Yeah, yeah. it's really fun. Yeah, all right, that's what I'm going to do now. Wish me luck. Okay, have fun. Have fun. Bye. I'm going down to ride my horse by myself. I want you to check out the window every 10 through minutes. The, through the screen door. To make through sure. Wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. To make sure I'm okay, okay? Okay, so I'm freaking out. Literally freaking out, you guys. So, oh. Okay, so I'm gonna ride Penny by myself. I'm gonna take her in the back arena all by myself. Be by myself. No dogs, no kids, no husband. I'm gonna ride her. It's my dream to be self sufficient with my horse and do things. Penny likes to do things, just her and I. I wanna do stuff. I wanna, like, terrified. So. 
you guys know, like, so the girls are playing with friends on Roblox. They play with Kaylee all the time, and they say, oh, hi. <laughs> are you enjoying the little bed that I made you today? He's like, yes, this is a wonderful little bed, Laura. <laughs> so cute. He said, come pet me. Hi. <laughs> Socialization is such a huge part of like living and and homeschool kids especially need to have that opportunity to like talk with their friends and so, so it's really important that the girls play whenever they get an opportunity to play, they hang around with friends whenever they get an opportunity to hang around with them. That's why we take them to like lessons and at a lesson barn and while we like go out of our way to do stuff with their friends and have friends over all the time and let them play on the computer all the time is because it's really important to me that they have the same opportunity to socialize and learn the same skills. That is why I'm leaving them to do their thing. I'm on a red penny by myself. Probably not gonna talk anymore for this video. I'm just gonna show the footage of me riding Penny. Pray that I don't freak out and back out because I'm it's gonna be hard. Like I have to take all the stuff down to the arena so I can get up on her. I have to like figure out if like it's gonna be hard, you guys. Something way out of my comfort zone. But I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it because what I want for me and for Penny and I just have to rip the band-aid off and do it so pray for me and if you see me riding Penny at the end of this video then be proud of me and be proud of Penny because we did it all right so I'm not riding I'm not riding so when I brought her in she stood usually she walks right in she knows the plan she stood here see where the snow is and she looked at, at where I was gonna put her in the cross ties, and she said no. And then she looked right in my eyes and stared at me to see if I understood. Yes, I know, your ponies are coming, to see if I understood. And I kinda had an inkling, maybe there's a problem, but it wasn't that big of a deal. Come on, in your stall. Get in there. Oh wait, that's the wrong stall. Crap, wait. Wait, you go back out for a minute. Go back out while I get this little beast. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Okay, you go in there. You go in there because I can get her once you're taken care of. All right, little princess. I know. You think you're a good girl. You think you're more important. Even she seems sore. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> so, basically, I brought her in, and then as soon as she st I stood her in the cross hills, I could tell she was having problems walking. And I'm like, okay, well, I can't ride her if she's having problems walking. I'll just check. It's probably just snow stuck in her foot. And it was snow stuck in her foot. Like, rock hard. Like, this is rock hard. Harder than a rock. Like, I can't even squish it. Can't even break it. It was, like, it's got rocks in it, probably. Her, all her feet, her, mostly her front feet, were jam-packed full of this rocks you see that so i couldn't even get it out of her feet so i had to get warm water i literally had to get warm water and stick her foot in there which made me so happy that i have been spending time like working with her feet things touching her feet because she was not impressed with the fact that she was going to put her foot in a bucket but i swear to god she knew that she had to put her foot in the bucket and she was shaking like she did it right away. I said, Benny, Penny, we got to put your foot in this bucket. And she was shaking. Her whole entire body was shaking out of fear of the bucket. Because she's weird about things around her feet. She did it. And she did it perfectly. And I kept trying to get it out, trying to get it out, trying to get it out. And she would not take her foot out of the bucket. Like, finally, I pulled her foot out of the bucket. And I still can get the rock, hard ice out of her hoof. And so I kept trying, 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 and finally the whole thing just popped free. And then I did all the rest of the feet. The other ones weren't as much. Got them all out. Her back feet weren't as bad as her front feet. I mean, this is probably nothing, and I'm inexperienced, and I over-exaggerate everything, but she got snow packed in her feet, and it was sore for her. So I just want to make sure she's okay before I put her back out. And then I went out to the arena, and I picked the mini's feet. We pick their feet at least every other day. So... The, the ponies were fine. Got them in. I'm gonna leave them in. I'm gonna give the ponies some fresh water, and then I'm gonna go for my trainer and see. So I didn't ride Penny by myself today. Not meant to be. And you know what I've learned? I knew this before, 
but my trusted Bible app told me to trust in God that he always knows the great, the greater plan. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to trust in God. I didn't ride her today. As sad as it is, I was so pumped. I have all ready to ride her. It might seem like it's an excuse, but it's not. Like I can't ride her when she had snow packed in her feet and her feet seem sore. I'm not going to get upset. I'm not going to be disappointed. I'm not going to be angry. I'm not going to be mad or sad or any of those things. I'm going to trust that God has a better plan and a bigger plan and he understands. And today wasn't the day I was meant to ride Pony in the snow by myself. And that's okay. Don't you know that you're beautiful?